everyone, my name is Elaine Serianello, owner of Lametric, and you are watching Feminomics. The salon and spa industry generates tens of billions of dollars in sales each year and continues to grow. One businesswoman is expanding, not by opening new shops, but by taking her business on the road. Meet Aline Surianello of Lametric, entrepreneur, innovator, and a woman on a mission. Welcome to the show, Aline. Thank you. How'd you get started in the beauty business? Wow, I've been in it since I was a kid. I tweezed neighborhood girls' eyebrows. So <laughs> am I a little obsessed about image? A little. So I would say as far back as I can remember. Who were your role models and mentors? Well, my five foot four father, because uh, he was an entrepreneur. And in watching him as I was a kid, I saw the independence and the, and the creativity of doing and being your own person and since he was my role model he was my parent and then he was also my role model is in business um, I just attracted other people men and women who own businesses it just seemed to be that that's what I was curious about and interested in the salon and spa industry continues to expand generating jobs across the nation According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, 84% of the 1 million professionals working in the sector are women. It also offers opportunities for women of all backgrounds. How has the business changed in the years that you've been involved? Well, color is a big deal. Um, you know, you have a, a huge population now that has gray hair that didn't have it 50 years ago because we're all living to be in our 80s and 90s. And so learning how to work with color also how to work with women who are older because skin changes as you get older, so does your hair. Aline also had some insights about branding. I think the big issue now more than ever before is do you have a brand that represents who and what you really are? And you know, I think 20 years ago no one paid attention to what that was because the number of women business owners 20, 25 years ago compared to now is huge differences. Mm -hmm. But the idea of having a brand for a small business has, I would say, probably in the last 10 years been a big deal. You know, you never question Nestle and Clairol and you know, Pantene because those are very well established brands. But when you're talking community based businesses, which is what most women business owners are, what is your brand? How do you, how do people know how to reach out to you? You know, you've got to have something, a message that makes you different or distinguishes you differently than, than your competitor or anybody else. One thing that sets Aline apart from her peers is her mobile beauty bus. So tell us about the bus. How did this come about? Well, I deal with very sensitive health issues for women, and that's their hair thinning, hair loss. And I don't, I didn't want to build brick and mortar around the country, makes no sense, because the work I do is very custom. And I thought, what's the best way for me to represent what I do and who I am? Put it on a vehicle. After all this hair talk, I became curious about what happens at Lametric and decided to hop on the beauty bus to visit their Midtown Manhattan location. This is my brick and mortar. What happens is a woman comes in for a consultation with us, with me, and I take measurements. That's how the word Lametric came to be. Oh, okay. Because it means measurements. The measurements. Then literally I make a pattern and I blend the hair like with someone like you to your hair texture, color, and everything else. And then this is put into this pattern and then the magic begins. Oh my God, I feel like a totally new woman. What a look, huh? Hello, Shotzi. Would you like me to make you some Wiener schnitzel? <laughs> Shout out to my Hibernian homies there in Pearl River, New York. Top of the morning to you. And at the end of the day, the beauty business is still about that personal touch. That's the one thing about the beauty business. It's still touchy-feely. You still want to touch the fabric. You still want to look at the color. You want to look at an image. You want to hear the music. You want to taste the food. It's still, you know, the beauty business, the, the, it still has a voice that's very different um, than probably any other industry. So what does success mean to you, Alina? How has that changed over the years? 
Freedom. Freedom. It's never about the money. Entrepreneurs do not do what they do because of the money. They do because of the freedom that it gives them to be creative, make a difference, do what they love, follow their passion, follow their heart. See you next time, right here at Demonomics. Hmm, with my dark hair, that may be a little Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Well, let's see. No, this isn't going to work. No, she's, she doesn't look really, she's not only really German looking, I don't think.